Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to stages 4, 5 and 6 of the Giro d'Italia 2023 here on PCM. After the initial three stages in which there was a mix of bad luck and lack of skill on my part, we are going to try it again and maybe snatch a win. We are going to start with a hilly stage. There's a lot of climbing to be done in this one, so it's going to be the first test to climbing abilities. Hopefully Thibaut Pinot can do something here. Maybe we can snatch a win in a good day. It's going to be hard, but we will try it. Then we are going to have two flat stages. This one, there's, there are a few hills, but nothing too complicated. And the final hill is like over 50 kilometers from the finish line. And then stage six is pretty similar and quite a short one, 150 kilometers only. It's going to be another chance for Jake Stewart to try to beat the other top sprinters. Let's go then to stage four. And as I mentioned, it's going to be tricky with Thibaut Pinot. He's not even considered among, among the top favorites for the stage. Yeah, he will have to be on a very, very good day to try and get the win. PCM definitely hates me because we have Thibaut Pinot on a, on a minus two. Pinot is on a minus two. Rudy Mollard, who I could think about going in the breakaway to get some KOM points because every category to climb has... 18 points for the first rider going through it but he was at the back of the peloton he was on he is on a minus one so definitely no chance for me to to take him in the breakaway so we just had an important moment in the race primos roglic was in a group that crashed also you carty was here but they are quickly coming back so not a big issue balka molema also crashed here so they quickly got back Maybe Roglic wasted a little bit more energy than he would have liked, but it's probably not going to affect him a lot at the end. So we are now approaching this first intermediate sprint, again located in a really weird spot at the top of this wall, the Muro Lucano. We have the four riders in the breakaway going, they are going to take the points. I'm trying to get to the front with Jake Stewart, but he's not going to be able to get anything out of this. So yeah, I might as well back off. Um, because yeah, there's no points for Jake Stewart in this one. Oh, and actually, <laughs> surprise, surprise, Jake Stewart actually got maybe one or two points. When I put him back in automatic, he was actually able to get to the front and sprint for some points with no opposition whatsoever. Let's push it a little bit with, with Molar, get closer to... And closer, let's sprint, attack for the KOM points, and he's going to take a few. That was only two points, by the way. And would you look at that, we had the split in the peloton right at the end of the of the downhill. And there, I don't think there are any big GC name, names in, in this group. But there are a few riders from teams that are fighting for the, for the GC, like Formolo and Ulisi, Kovi and J Vine all missing from the front so João Almeida is going to be basically by himself and I need to up the pace the pace is really fast at the moment only 45 riders left in this main group okay this this just became interesting okay so we are now on the final climb Cole Molela we are still in the easy kind of false flat section um the final four to five kilometers are going to be much more complicated the pace is really high at the moment, and we're already at 85 with Thibaut Pinot and Armirai. It is so going to be tough for Pinot on this minus two day. And look at this. We have Kamna pulling so, so hard with Ballerini, Ben Swift as well, Pipo Gana at the front, so he's definitely not trying to keep his GC lead, I think. He's definitely just working for, um, for his teammates. And I need to push so hard. This is this is being so tricky. Kus went on the attack, which is quite surprising. The pace did lower a bit now. Did I push too hard already? I might have. Come on, come on. We are still two kilometers from the finish. This is not going to work. Molar is done. Evanapool trying an attack. Let's try to follow someone here. Let's try to follow the wheel of João Almeida. Oh... Can we do something here? Not lose time at least. Sepkus took the win. Ahead of Primoz Roglic. It's a 1-2. It is a 1-2 for... 
Jumbo Visma, maybe we don't lose any time. Did anyone see this one coming? Thapkus with an attack before the end of the climb? He was actually looking exhausted um, still before the, the top of the climb. He managed to hold the lead. He took the stage win 21 seconds ahead of Primoz Roglic, his teammate. Ghana was third. Then Vlasov, Thomas, Jack Hay, Caruso, Evanapool, Gegenart, Bauke Molema. Thibaut Pinot in 15th. He was the last rider on the same time as the main GC contenders. So I think that the main GC contender that lost quite a lot of time today was Hugh Carty. 244 down. People gonna keep the lead. Evanapool and Thomas uh, right behind. Thibaut Pinot 125 down, now in 12th. I won't complain. I won't complain after a minus two day. In the points classification, Michael Matthews keeps the lead ahead of Mats Pedersen and the leader in the mountain classification is Hanok Mulubran. We move on to Atripalda to start what is, I hope, going to be Jake Stewart Day. We are finally having a little bit of good luck with race day conditions. Jake Stewart on a plus three today. I am seriously starting to question the placement of this uh, intermediate sprints because, come on, again at the top of a climb? Oh no, and this is a big moment. We have a crash. Thomas and Roglic. Garen Thomas and Primoz Roglic both crashed. Thomas is out. Garen Thomas is out of the race. Oh, and no. No, 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 no. This cannot happen. This cannot be happening. At that exact moment, we have a break here. And Thibaut Pinot is being left behind. Pinot is left behind. We have other GC teams here. Can we get to them? This might be just for the intermediate sprint. And maybe they stop now? Please stop. So we're about 28 kilometers from the finish. The breakaway is about to be caught. We have... Who is that? That's Alpacin. They are still pacing um, at the front. We still have Roglic behind. Roglic is behind, being pulled by Tra Tratnik, Affini and Rowan Dennis, Osman as well. They are about to catch the, the back of the peloton. But the pace is really insane at the moment with still 25 kilometers to go. So we are 14 kilometers from the finish. And this time I'm going to try something different. I put, I managed to put uh, Jake Stewart on the wheel of Fernando Gaviria. I will maybe try to push a bit with, um, with Stefan Kung and make the, the pace really hard and then take advantage of the, the sprint by, by Gaviria. Although... Jake Stewart is not really on the wheel of Gaviria anymore. He kind of lost the wheel there. Okay, Jake Stewart is back on the wheel of Fernando Gaviria. Hopefully he doesn't lose it. Hopefully he is going to be able to, to keep going. Let's up the efforts here by Pino just to make sure he is not dropped here. Jake Stewart who falling a bit behind. This is not going to work. Maybe let's switch to the wheel of Jonathan Milan. Let's try that instead. 2.3 kilometers to go. Kung is now moving to the front, yeah. Trying to up the tempo. Let's just focus on Stewart. And the sprint is now being launched. Ah, oh, he's way too far behind. Way too far behind. Gaviria took the win so easily. So easily. Yeah, this following the wheel thing doesn't work. Where was Jonathan Milan? He's not even in the top 20. So yeah, Jake Stewart finishes 10th. This game keeps screwing me. Because Jonathan Milan, he was 20 freaking 9th. I don't understand this. He, he, he basically gave up from sprinting. The first wheel choice was the correct one, Fernando Gaviria. But then I thought I was kind of losing the wheel. So I, I saw Milan there. I moved to his wheel. But yeah, that was a terrible, terrible decision. Jake Stewart had so much energy left by the end. It was a waste of a good race day condition. So the only change that we have in the GC is that third place rider, Gary Thomas, was forced to abandon after his crash. So we go up with Thibaut Pinot up to 11th. It's a big, big loss for Ineos. But um, yeah, they still have Theo Gegenart, uh, who can definitely contend for the win. I mean, he won the Giro before. The lead 
in the points classification is still in the hands of Michael Matthews. The same for the mountain classification, with Mulubran actually in increasing his lead by a very decent margin. This has been a disappointment after another. Please, Jake, give us something today. And so in a day in which we start in Napoli and will finish in Napoli, separated by 150 kilometers, Jake Stewart will try it again. He's on a zero day, Thibaut Pinot today is on a plus two, so hopefully he's going to be better, feeling better in the next few days. But today is all about trying to win with Jake Stewart. So we are now about 35 kilometers from the finish, and even though nothing really special happened over the race, uh, there's been another cut in the in the peloton caused by really high pace. So that's that seems to be a constant, and maybe it's a thing with PCM 22. And as I said before, I've barely played PCM 22. This I don't remember this happening that often. Um, about my strategy for today, actually, Jake Stewart, you need to get up there. You need to get up to the front. Um, but my strategy was all about trying to do my own sprint train today. I was counting on Linard for, for that, but with his minus five, he's really finding it, finding it hard to, to keep with the pace. And yeah, I, I don't think he's going to be helpful. I'll have to decide quickly on what to do. There should be some favorites for the stage that got dropped behind. But uh, yeah, this this is really tough, really hard to follow. So 15 kilometers to the finish line, we still have Gavadi at the front, uh, but Bauke Molema, he's definitely not going for the GC, I think. Bauke Molema is pulling in the peloton, trying to bring Gavazi back. I have decided to go with my own train, but this is not looking very promising. I'm down to three riders. I want to keep Rudy Mollard protecting Thibaut Pinot, maybe that would not be needed, but I prefer that, i I rather do that. Bruno Armirail is now leading the peloton, 10k to go, and he has to hold for a long, long time, because then Kung is going to be the one launching Jake Stewart for me, unless I drop Jake Stewart to the wheel of Gaviria again, maybe try something there. Okay, so final four kilometers, Bruno Armirail is about to be done. Stefan Kung is going to have to take the lead of this group. Hopefully, he is not going to blow Jake Stewart too quickly. Let's go hard, let's sprint with Stefan Kung, and now let's launch Jake Stewart. He's in a good position, but he's not fast enough. He is going to be beaten by Simone Consoni. He's going to be second. I could have gone a little bit earlier. Ah, oh, we were so close this time. Well, there you go. This is the best stage result so far. Jake Stewart finishing second. Everything kind of went okay. I could have launched a little bit earlier with, with Stewart. But um, yeah, it hurt that I didn't really have a lot of riders. Lineard not being available for the sprint train really hurt us. But yeah, Armirai and Kung did a really good job pacing at the front. Yeah, I, 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 I'm quite happy with this. There was no time lost for, for any of the, the GC contenders. Cavendish got dropped here. So we end this in a relatively positive mood because the the final stage was not terrible. People gonna still in the lead ahead of Evenepoel and Bauke Molema. This is so surprising because Molema was pulling at the front of the peloton to catch back the breakaway in the final, what, 10 kilometers, 15 kilometers? So he's actually exposing himself quite a lot. I don't see him winning the GC, obviously, but yeah, it was a bit surprising to see. But um, yeah, we are still in contention with Thibaut Pinot. In the points classification, Michael Matthews is still the leader. 95 points against Simone Consoni in second with 87. Jake Stewart with 56. If he can take a few more points in, in these types of finishes, maybe he can kind of contend for this. The mountain classification is being clearly led by Mulubran, is unlikely to win it. I mean, he has 68 mountains, so I really don't see that happening. So PCM seems to be no game for old men. I really need to up my game if I want to win any stages and try to fight for the GC. 
I will do my best to bring you stages 7, 8 and 9 on Friday. And in the meantime, we can discuss the real life Giro d'Italia in my Discord server. You can find a link down below in the description. Uh, we also have a Velo Games uh, going on. You can join the Discord and find the code there to, to join the league if you want to. Of course, if you are new to the channel, you are more than welcome to subscribe to it and to leave a like on the video, leave a comment and tell me what you thought of it. Finally, and as usual, stay safe, stay positive. Until next time, goodbye.